Hello YouTube, Big Planes here, and today I wanted to show you my Gloucester E-28 Pioneer aircraft. Now I know a lot of you may not know what this is, but I do like doing very obscure aircraft. That's why I did a Goblin. I also have a couple of other weird ones that nobody really knows about. So I like doing these just because nobody's done them and I think they deserve to be done. So yeah, that's, that's why I did this one. This one it's a bit controversial, but it was one of the first jet aircraft that was actually was not the first jet. There was a German jet that came before it, but its creator, Frank Whittle, was the first to patent the jet engine back in England before World War II. But it was also being worked on in Germany, but the Germans got it first. So that was unfortunate for the British. One of the main reasons this aircraft was around was to prove that the idea of a jet engine could work. It was almost solely a test aircraft. And once the British Prime Minister, Winston Churchill, saw how effective this was at being a new engine for aircraft, he immediately boosted the production and development of jet engines. They also sent a copy of the Whittle jet engine to General Electric's in the United States to give the Americans a head start or more or less let them catch up in the race to get the jet fighter up there before the end of World War II. This aircraft does have retractable landing gear. It's a bit tricky, but it works. So you can see here the nose gear, zoom in on it here, just folds straight into the body of the aircraft like this. But these, these are a little more tricky. You have to move the wheel here or else it technically should be here, and no, actually it should be in the middle, but there's really no way to do that in LEGO. So it should, eh, drop it in there, should be here, but it would tip on its back, or tip on its tail if it was here. So I mount it back here, but you have to move the wheel, ugh, let's uh, slide from here, and then it folds in, and then this one over here, this one, ah, oh, tail broke. Uh, then this one folds in there like that. Once it's landing gear retra is retracted, it looks fairly sleek. It's unfortunately those stick out a little bit, but there's really, really not much you can, can do about an aircraft like this. So yeah, I thought it looked, looks pretty good. It, this would be not something cool that would be able to hang from a wall somewhere. So it looks pretty cool when the landing gear is retracted. I didn't have too much to say about this aircraft, but I do have a lot of other aircraft and some pretty large projects coming up. So stay tuned for those. Please like and subscribe. And since I'm such a tiny, tiny channel on YouTube and nobody knows I exist, it'd be nice if you could tell other people I exist so I would help get my name out there. So thank you for watching. As always, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.